Welcome back gamers. My name is Roll Easy. I'd like to thank you for coming back to the channel. First off, I just want to apologize for not uploading yesterday or the majority of today. I know I kind of went ghost on all of you guys, but you know, I kind of wanted to take a break yesterday and then this director mode glitch came out early this morning, probably around 4 a.m. Eastern time. And man, I was trying to hit it for a while, but uh, yeah, before we get into all the hype of the uh, director mode glitch, first i just want to say if y'all are new here don't forget to uh subscribe to the channel everybody like the video right now hit that blue thumbs up and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant i come out with any more fresh and informative dope content all right and as you can see right here i have successfully hit the director mode glitch i'll be honest with you guys this is the first time i've ever been able to actually hit the director mode glitch i never really tried it in uh you know the previous glitches but i wanted to do it this time and i wanted the checkerboard outfits and let me tell you I finally got them, all right? And I'll leave some links down in the description on what you need to actually get the checkerboard outfits, but I do need to warn you guys, this method that I have right here, it actually will delete all of your current characters' uh, slots and outfits. So everything will be gone, which is why I wanna say, you know, if you don't wanna lose any of your outfits, do not attempt this glitch. But you do need a couple of things before you start the glitch. I just wanted to warn you guys about that because that's the most important thing. Uh, to be able to hit this, you need to have already unlocked Michael from story mode to be able to do this. And you need a female second character with outfits to transfer over to your male character or vice versa. If you have a female character as your main one and you want to transfer over male character or male outfits to your female character, you can do that as well. I have a main male character and my second one is a female, so you would have to make the female character's outfits merge onto the male characters and that's how I'm able to get all these crazy ass outfits. So like I said, you are going to lose all of your current male outfits, so if you don't want to do that, do not do this glitch. It does come at a price and it's not the easiest glitch to hit. You're going to hear people tell you that it's super easy. Let me tell you, it took me about eight hours to actually finally hit it. Not because I'm bad at glitches, man. I hit every, you know, every freaking glitch out there. But this one did take some practice and this one did take certain, you know, things that you're not used to doing, like deleting save data. If you're not used to deleting, deleting your game save data and, you know, restarting the game, you have to restart the game about three times to even do this glitch. All right. And then you have to actually create all these, you know, character or sorry, um, outfits on the female character to do it. Okay, so I, I just want to let you guys know, this is not the easiest glitch, it is a time state, you know, it takes a lot of time to do this, but I just want to let you guys know ahead of time. Alright, and just a warning for everybody, you're not going to be able to see when I actually close my game and restart GTA or when I delete my saved data, because I am recording through the Xbox DVR, and it does not record when I'm on the dashboard. But I will leave a text tutorial in the description on exactly all the steps that I'm doing, and I'll try to explain it as greatly as I can while it's happening here in the video for you all right and big shout out to surreal glitching i'll leave his link down in the description he is the one that found this along with his team so go check him out over on seven sins and his youtube channel all right so without further ado let's get started okay so make sure that you've already established what outfits you want to put on your second character that's going to be merged or transferred over to your first character and then once you're done with your second character, you'll want to swap characters and go back to your first one. Once you've loaded there, go back into story mode, and then you want to, you're going to want to close your application, all right? And then you're going to want to load back straight into story mode. And make sure that you are Michael right now, all right? So you have a way, there's actually a way that you can do it in your phone, but let's just open up interaction menu and go to director mode. Remember, as Michael, if it kicks you into story mode, you have to turn off your game and start over and you should be able to do that. If you're coming into director mode from online, it will not work, all right? So now that we're in director mode, you're gonna simply walk out right there as Michael and you're gonna go right down to enter director mode, all right? There are some other YouTubers saying that you need to go to actor, go to story characters and choose Michael. You're already Michael. The, it, this has been working for me flawlessly the past few times, all right? So now, as you can see in the top right, we're in director mode. Open up your interaction menu and go to settings. And now you're going to go to explosive bullets. Go right on the, on the D-pad and press X to activate it. And now take out your assault rifle. You have explosive bullets now. And you're going to want to aim down and with the left trigger. And you see that how I kind of shot? This is what I'm doing, all right? I kind of I died right there, but I wanted to show you guys what it is like to fail. We're going to be dying and pressing start or shooting and pressing start at the same time. Now what I do 
just go ahead and go right back to director mode if you die. You know, you can try right back again. So what I do is I'll take out my assault rifle, I aim straight down to the ground, I hold left trigger to aim, and I'm pressing the start button and I'm holding it the whole time. I'm holding start button and right as I fire the right trigger and I fire the gun, I'm releasing, you saw that? I'm releasing the start button. Then head over to Play GTA Online and open up the creator. And you saw that? I just glitched out. So you want to be able to pause and see that bullet flame, you know, coming right out of the gun. That's how you know you're going to get it. And then all of a sudden the screen goes black a little bit and Michael just kind of stays standing there. All right. If that went too quick, just go ahead and rewind it and you can see exactly what it was like. So now check this out. We're in director mode and we're all glitched out. So you want to press down on the D-pad once and then you're going to want to press it two more times. So one, two, and then press A once and then A again. So once again, that's down on the D-pad three times and then pressing A twice. You're gonna get this black screen. And once you get this black screen, now all of a sudden you're allowed to press start. So go ahead and press start, go to online and go to choose character. So right there, that was kind of one of the hardest parts. We're really, we're all glitched out. It's director mode, creator, all kind of, you know, mixed in together. And now we're just waiting to go into the choose character, you know, mugshot room. And you're gonna have both your characters here. Now my main character is the guy and he has all the, you know, the male character. And he's the one that I want to get all the cool modded outfits. My female character, which is the second one, she has all the regular outfits that when you do this glitch, they all kind of go crazy and transfer over. And that's what creates the modded outfits, all right? Once again, I'll leave a link down in the description. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and you're gonna wanna click on your second character. If it's your female, yeah. Click on your second character while you're still in director mode. You see that in the top right? Now, it's gonna say joining GTA, and what's gonna happen here is you're actually gonna time out. I think this is part of the patch that they put so that we don't go into online with director mode. So, you're gonna time out right here and you're, get, you're gonna get this alert message. Now, when you get this alert message, you're gonna wanna just hold, hold or stay there for three seconds, press A, and then right away close the application. All right, press start and close that application. Now, before you start up GTA again, you're gonna wanna go press start on your application and then delete your game save data from the console, okay? That's from the console. Once again, remember, you guys won't be able to see it because I'm recording with the Xbox DVR. So you're gonna wanna delete your save game data from the console. If you don't know what that is, I'll try to leave a link down in the description on an Xbox website. And it's gonna ask you to sync your data. You're gonna cancel that, all right? You do not wanna sync data. You're gonna wanna cancel that and make sure it does not sync, all right? Now you're gonna get this display calibration message. Just go ahead and press A on that, all right? So once again, to delete, I'm gonna go back over that while we're waiting over here in this, you know, in this little loading screen. So once you're at that alert, that says that you timed out, you're gonna stay there for three seconds, then press A, and before it starts loading you in the prologue, you're gonna close the application, all right? You have to do that very quickly. If you see the prologue start loading on the next screen with the girl, you know, in the bikini, you're too late, all right? It will not work. That was my problem. I was way too late on that, all right? So after that, once you've closed your game, you're gonna press start on the application of GTA. You're gonna go to manage game. This is all on Xbox, by the way. You're gonna press manage game, delete save data on the, your console, all right? Once you go to manage game, delete save data on the console, not Xbox Live, okay? And then when you load back up into GTA, it's gonna try to sync the data. You're gonna cancel that and you're gonna hit stop sync, okay? Make sure if you didn't understand that, just rewind it, okay? That's as simply as I can put it. Especially if you're on Xbox, on PlayStation, I believe once you close the application and you load it back up, you can hold R1 and L1, and then you'll get that dis display calibration. It's a little bit easier for you guys on uh, PlayStation. So now we're gonna be loading up, and it's gonna be actually loading up into the prologue. Now you're gonna wanna let this prologue play all the way through until you're actually able to move. All right, so you're gonna get this little cutscene, you know, in the beginning of the game, North Yankton, and you're gonna wanna just wait until you're able to move. You don't see it all the way right here because I had to close my game once again. But once I'm able to move my character, just close up GTA one more time. All right. And once you close it up, you're going to reload it and then it's going to actually sync. Let it sync and it's going to ask you where do you want it to sync from? You're going to say from this console, not Xbox Live. All right. And you're going to load back into story mode, just like you see right here. All right. So now we're loading into story mode. Go to play GTA online and invite only session. 
And that's pretty much the entire glitch. I know I went through it kind of quick. And check this out, Rockstar Games Online, you're going to accept the terms. It's basically like the game is pretty much confused thinking that it's your first time in GTA Online, but it's really not. All your game save data is there. It does resync. Make sure you do not delete your game, delete your game save data from Xbox Live. Never, all right? You're not loading from Xbox Live. You're not deleting anything from Xbox Live. Everything is all from the console, all right? And remember, I will leave a text tutorial from Seven Sins, the guy that found it himself, and my own text tutorial down in the description because I want everybody to really understand this. All right, it's a pretty complicated glitch. There's a lot of steps, but once you get it, it's mad easy. It really is. All right, so we're waiting over here to load in, and I've already put a bunch of, you know, outfits on my female character. When you select her, it kind of glitches out, and that's what transfers the her character, or sorry, your second character's outfits over to your males. You know, it's a female and to a male, so it kind of gets all screwed up. And there's certain things to put on for the checkerboard outfits, so I'll leave all that in the description for you guys if you guys want some really cool outfits. But this is a, it's, it's a crazy glitch, let me tell you. There's a lot of steps. It's kind of confusing. I do understand you might have to rewatch this video a few times, but check it out. I load in, and now I have all these modded outfits. I have the checkerboard outfit. I have the, you know, the short, short checkerboard. I got this one, some Tron stuff with invisible arms, a trash man with the Tron stuff, and the rebreather. This is my favorite. I got handcuffs there, you know, and a shirt, kind of a cutoff. Yeah, that one's really, really cool. You got the shoes. That's a white, um, you know, juggernaut pants right there. There's some crazy stuff you can really do with this. That's one of my favorites too, the full suit with the uh, with the glasses and the bandana over his face. And then right there, that is an awesome one. That is Wavy Gamers actually. He did create that one, the Tron outfit. You know, it's the yellow Tron, the green Tron pants. Yeah, it's with the jug, man. It's really awesome. So that's kind of the potential that you can get from this. I do it just for the modern outfits. There is a way that you can use this to get money uh, as a glitch so I, I might cover that I you know right now I really am focused on this we do have you know a duplication glitch out and I do have footage on that on how to really do it as quick as possible so I will be uploading that tomorrow as well but I kind of wanted to get this out to you guys tonight just so you guys you know can really see what I've been doing the entire day and working on this it really did take a long time to set up the female characters but to me it was all worth it in the end because I got some really really cool outfits to work with well, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, and I'm sure all of you will have many questions, go ahead and put them down in the comments. I'll answer them as best I can. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so, so you know exactly when I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content. All right, so I'm Roll Easy, and I'm out of here, guys. Have a good night.